Would you love to help your clients, your coaching clients, achieve extraordinary results way easier than they're thinking they can? Hi, I'm Mary Morrissey, and of course you do. If you're a coach, a life coach, you absolutely want to help your clients achieve extraordinary results in a much easier way than perhaps they think they can. Now, I've written two best-selling books, No Less Than Greatness and Building Your Field of Dreams, which became a PBS special. I'm also the founder of Life Mastery Institute, the premier training center for transformational coaching. I personally have been coaching over 35 years, individuals from all walks of life and all over the world. And I've certified and trained well over 2,000 coaches. Now, what I found about breaking free from the constraints of common thinking about how things occur is tied to a story that happened in my life a long time ago with a coach in my life. Now, I had studied transformation. I'd gotten a master's degree in counseling psychology. I'd studied coaching, and I was doing fairly well, but I wasn't having the results I wanted until I went and found a master coach, a mentor, to help me break free. And I invested what seemed like a whole ton of money to work with him one year. Back in 1987, it was the equivalent of $42,000 in today's money. I had the privilege of working with him that year, and I had many, many breakthroughs in my life, and many of them had to do with my perception about opportunity, my perception about what I really needed to be successful. And he helped me establish a whole new way of thinking about things that actually unlocked my ability to bring greater results in my life. We worked together for five years, and it was nearing the time when I knew that he was about to die. He had cancer, and he came out to Oregon where my work was, and he was speaking for a large event I was hosting, and, and we had breakfast together. And in that breakfast, uh, he shared with me the journey that he'd been on, and I knew about it some. He lived in Detroit, and um, it was a very sad breakfast for me because I loved this man deeply, and he'd helped me in so many, many ways discover more about not only how to help myself, but how to help other people transform their results. So that day he said, finally, I don't want to talk anymore about me. I want to talk about you. What's, what's your vision now? What's happening with your work? And I said, oh, Jack, this, the group I work with, we've envisioned this, this property, and we're going to have a, a center there. It'll be a global campus. And I, I painted the vision, and I said, we have $40,000 in our building fund, and it's a $10 million dream, so we've got a plan for this. this we're going to raise some money. We've got some property we're going to buy. We're going to, and I described this 10-year plan for, because we would, we would uh, raise some money, buy a piece of land, pay that land off over three years after fundraising for the land, and then we would build a first building, then we'd borrow on the equity of that building and build our second building. And 10 years from now, Jack, imagine you're walking on this campus, and I painted the vision of what it is I wanted to bring forth. And he looked at me and he said, so why squeeze the infinite into a 10-year plan? Now, I knew what he meant because he believed that in, and we would know it today with all the things we know about quantum field theory and what we understand about string theory and non-local field of reality, is that all opportunities exist simultaneously. He says, why would you squeeze infinite possibilities into one simple 10-year plan? Now, I had a board who was helping me. I had some very smart business people. And everybody who was thinking along the lines of common sense knew that a very good common sense plan for us was to create a 10-year plan to produce a result we wanted. And he says, wouldn't you love to have that building this year? And I said, well, yes, I would love to have the building this year, but Jack, and then I talked about conditions. Here are the conditions. We have $40,000. It's a $10 million dream. And he looked at me and he said, I'm telling you, you don't have to squeeze the infinite in a 10-year plan. There could be lots of other ways this could occur. Would you love the building this year? And I said, well, I would love the building this year. He said, do you believe you can have the building this year? And I told him the truth. I don't believe I can have the building this year, but I can tell you believe I could have the building this year. And he just looked at me and he looked deep in my soul and he said, then believe in my belief. And that's a coaching moment for you and for me. When someone wants something deeply, common sense might say how long it's going to take for them to have it. All the things that are going to have to happen in order for them to make welcome the result they want. Your clients want a coach who knows that there's more opportunity for them than can be met through the common sense I, the common sense understanding. I had that coach. And what he did when I left that breakfast after he said, then believe in my belief, he said, if you don't believe it, then believe that I believe it and believe in my belief. I left that breakfast, I knew I was a changed woman. I walked out to the car and I thought, well, I have no idea how this could happen in a year, but I can tell he believes it could happen in a year. Who am I to know? I mean, I suppose there are infinite possibilities. One of them could be that we have it ha happen this year. I have no idea how that could happen. But I opened up 
just a, a wavelength of possibility in my thinking, a wavelength of possibility in my emotion that who am I to say it couldn't happen this year? And we did not move into that building 10 years later. We moved into that building 10 months later. My mentor died six weeks after that conversation. But his understanding about joining with possibility no matter what the conditions look like, deciding to come from your vision, in, in regardless of how difficult it seems, there's a power in this. And when your client tells you what they really want, I believe as transformational coaches, it's your job and it's my job to not let our common sense override the infinite possibilities that are available to each and every one of us, including your client. And so they'll have a plan. I could do it this way. I, I want the love of my life and I haven't had the love of my life. I'm going to get on eHarmony and I'm going to do this and this and this. That's one way it could happen. You could walk into a grocery store and find that person in the, in the vegetable section. There's a zillion different ways it could happen. But the important thing is that we stay open and we're absolutely clear about your end result. So speak to me from what's happening when you are with that person you love. Describe your life and you help them stand inside their vision and feel their vision. You also help them recognize that there's more than one way. In fact, there are infinite numbers of ways. And there's some other ways that are more likely. But if they just stay open, there are ways that they can't even begin to imagine that could help them achieve that vision way easier and way faster than they've ever known. So thanks for watching today and if you've enjoyed this I hope you will share this video with somebody else and then for more step-by-step -step real tools and some very simple but highly effective strategies on how you can either start or grow a much more successful coaching business that makes a real difference and with lasting lasting change for people and that offers you an abundant income in the meantime so that you can really give your gifts then I want to give you a gift. So go ahead and click on the link below and you can download a gift from me. It's a free, my free life coaching ebook. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you real soon.